So you initially committed to play for Pacific University under Toronto Raptors legend Damon Stoudemire. Just take me through that recruitment process. Who else was involved and how did you end up at Pacific? Um, other schools at the time were, were like Eastern Tennessee, um, Eastern Michigan, and obviously Pacific. Went to Pacific for a visit, loved it. Um, and yeah, went to play under the reins of Stoudemire, which was a big deal for me, ultimately being a Toronto Raptors fan. And, you know, my parents and my dad growing up on, you know, that type of era. Um, and I learned a lot, definitely. Definitely learned a lot. Don't regret it. Um, went there, had a great three years. My second year there, we had a great year overall. Um, felt like we could have made a run for the tournament. Uh, fell short in the WCC, you know, tournament in Vegas. But um, ultimately loved it. Academics was great. And yeah, Coach Sotomayor. Coach Sotomayor was everything you would assume him to be. Quiet, cool cat, um, but very wise in a lot of ways. Left us with a lot of lessons, you know what I'm saying? Because it was more so for him about life afterwards. Because he knew, you know, for us, like not everybody, you know, reality check, not everybody's going to, he knows what, what it takes to get to that stage, you know? So he knows not everybody's going to have that chance. But you know, what are you going to do, you know, to prepare yourself for life afterwards of that? And he, he really taught me that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I watched Damon play college ball. I'm old enough to remember him at Arizona and stuff yeah. and his, his entire Raptors career. I remember when he got booed when the Raptors drafted him because most of the Toronto fans wanted, who was it, Ed O'Bannon, who had just won the NCAA tournament and that. You yeah. ever talked to him about any any of that, his experiences as a Raptor um, and stuff? No, nah, definitely. Like, we, we would have conversations about, you know, uh, even like the smallest intricate details of like, like the Eaton Center or like, you know, certain places and things of the sort, you know, cause obviously I'd ask him about the basketball stuff and, you know, he had stories for days and whatnot, but like, I actually wanted to see what the, the city meant for him also in a way. And like, you know, like everybody else, like they love and they rave about Toronto so much like this, the food, the people, you know, the love that they receive. And um, it just, it was just cool to see like a guy that like, I looked up to, you know, my father and his friends admire, you know, kind of not only having a relationship with that guy, but also him embracing the place that I'm from, you know what I'm saying? And actually knowing where things are and stuff like that. Cause he feels like, you know, like he's one of us still to this day, you know, you can ask him, you can, I can pick up the phone right now and talk to him about Toronto and he'll tell you a lot of information. So.